So three years ago, I built my current desktop. It's based off an AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. I did it before AMD was the current darling that it was now. I since have become a fanboy. I've joined the AMD subreddit on Reddit. I even got this nifty tattoo. Check it out, AMT. AMD. Coupled it with an AX370 Aorus gaming motherboard from Gigabyte. I've been really pleased with what I've had for the past three years. In fact, because it's built off of an X370, there have been firmware updates on this that allows the motherboard to accept the latest Ryzen 9 3900 series of CPUs. The cool thing about AMD is that with my old motherboard, it has an AM4 socket. It can accept today's Ryzen 9 3900X. Having said that, even though theoretically it can fit in the CPU, there's chances that it might not work. Now, I checked Gigabyte's website to see the CPU support list, and with the latest firmware update, it should be able to accept the Ryzen 9 3900X. Having said that, even though theoretically it can fit in the CPU, there's chances that it might not work. So, I'm gonna take the bullet and pick up uh, Ryzen 9 3900X, put it into the X370 motherboard and see what happens. Just got an email that my Ryzen 9 3900X is ready for pickup, so I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to go to the computer store and pick it up. All right, we're here. Uh, can I get a Ryzen 9 3900 X? Oh. Here's my credit card. Of course. Snatch. Picked it up. Uh, the lighting's a little harsh, but I gotta undo that, pop it off, and then place in the other one. So whatever. Let's see what we can do. It's been a few days since I've actually replaced the CPU Ryzen 7. 1700X with the Ryzen 9 3900X. You can tell because I'm wearing a hat today and I was totally not wearing a hat the other day. So it's a completely different day. So my experience with the current setup is that it's way more power than I can actually throw at it. So I did some rendering tests where I rendered a piece of video that was about 10 minutes long in the old setup. And then I did the same thing with the new setup. And what I found was about a 68% increase in performance. Now, when I looked at the CPU usage before, it was pegging it at about 100%. But now it seems that it's only going up to 60%. There are cores that aren't even used in the Ryzen 9 during the rendering process. Look at all those cores. Even something like folding at home, where if I was running folding at home, which is a very, it can be a CPU or a GPU intensive process, but generally it pegs my CPU, especially the old one at 100%. I'm only finding 60% usage of the CPU. Was it worth it for me to upgrade the CPU in this to the 3900X? I think it was because number one, I didn't want to spend the money all at once and get a motherboard and RAM and graphics card. And I see an immediate performance improvement from the latest CPU, which is so cool. The way AMD handled things with the AM4. I think before 
it was a pipe dream to think that you can buy a motherboard from three years ago and upgrade things with a current generation CPU. I'm looking at you, Pentium 2. Having the same socket design, but then also being able to accept current generation CPU, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I can see how people were upset when AMD announced that they weren't going to be supporting the B450 motherboards with the next gen CPUs, and then they took that back, but it's something that actually worked very well in my favor today and uh, kudos to AMD for allowing that to happen. In conclusion, I think what I have in here right now, which is the current gen 3900X Ryzen 9 with even the old motherboard, I'm seeing this can last me for a while before I'll need to upgrade the motherboard or the memory. Maybe the GPU will be the first thing to get updated, but Currently, the setup is great. So in conclusion, AMD, to the guy that said I should put music in my next video, that's a G chord for you, G. Peace out.